Hey, profits be upon you. Hope you had a, a good trading day today because it was kind of wonky. You know, the day after bank holidays and all, it can be, it can be funky sometimes. And uh, some people like myself take the day off. Uh, I took Friday off as well. Uh, uh, the, uh, tomorrow, after, during Asia, uh, from Asia to, to for the rest of the week, uh, tonight, um, uh, EST time anyway, uh, it, it, things should become a little bit more uh, normal. All right, now what we're gonna do is look at Euro USD. All right, before we do, we're gonna look at the Dixie. All right, why? Why am I looking at Dixie? Because Dixie is the inverse of the, uh, the Euro for all intents and purposes. All right, I use the Dixie as an indicator whenever I look at the majors, okay? Uh, we see that after this period of consolidation here, uh, the Dixie just took off, boom, right? What, what's this red line up here? The red line is a liquidity line and it took out the tops, took out the top here, took out the top here. Look at the date on that. That's from April, the beginning of April of 2020. You understand? A couple of years ago, man, that's an important high. What do we expect after a break of important highs? A little bit of a pullback. This is a grab. This is a grab of liquidity from this high. So I'm expecting some kind of retracement here, honestly speaking. When it will come, I don't know. But this is an overbought, uh, uh, you know, quote unquote, oh, overbought uh, uh, market, it's just overextended. It's stretched, man, and it's due a pullback of some kind. So that, th this gets my wheels turning when it comes to the Euro, Euro USD, okay? Uh, and we're gonna go to that right now. I'm on the wrong one, okay? If I can just get my life together over here, Everything will be just fine. Boom. Okay. So what am I looking at over here? All right, the inverse. Breaking structure to the downside. Boom. Everything's looking bearish. Excuse me. Boom. Complex pullback, pullback, and then flush, taking out all that sell side liquidity. Boom. Right? All, everything's going according to the plan. All right. Got to break structure to the downside. What do we expect after a break of structure? A pullback, right? Aha. Uh -huh. That would mean bullishness entering into this market, into this bearish market that would be, that would require a counter trend trade. Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing these days? All right. Again, we're on the daily now. What are we doing? We're moving over here to the left to see exactly where, why it pivoted here. This is a demand, all right? It's, and it's weak demand. You see how price came into it, came into it to mitigate this uh, zone of demand uh, two times and then took off, boom, right? Price came right through where you see the volume and everything come in, all right? And the uh, momentum in that candle came right past that to the, to the origin. What am I talking about? Over here, came right past it, it tapped it, came up, and then ram right through it, okay? That was a great reaction, right? But ultimately it is bearish. The, the, the overall bearishness took, is, it took precedent, right? It's, it, it is, we, we, we gotta see uh, where this bearishness turns or potentially turns. Now you see the reaction once it came into this zone, right? Almost down to the 50%. All right, another touchdown here, and pro it, it, there's a good chance prices are just going to continue on down. I'm looking at this rejection. I'm looking at the fill of that wick. This is a wick fill situation here. All right, are we going to fill the complete wick? That's very interesting to see. We'll, we'll take a look. Let's go down to the four hour. All right. Now, I, I, you, we recognize all these breaks of structure to the downside and all that good stuff. All right. What did we leave behind? Unmitigated zones of, uh, of supply, all right? We have 
imbalances that it left behind. We have uh, liquid liquidation points, all right? Points of liquidity that uh, will attract price to induce people to take shorts early and then come back and snatch them out and then continue down bearishly. <laughs> all right, that's what market makers do. All right, so what I want you to see is not only is there one up here, there's one here as well. See how sharp after the buy, the sell goes in and that's when the volume and all of that momentum comes in, leaving behind a zone of uh, an, an imbalanced area that price will certainly come and fill to mitigate this unmitigated zone of supply, all right? It's a valid zone because it broke the lows. It made a new low. It's a very strong zone. This is a high probability short from this area. But what about this area? What about down yonder? <laughs> all right, so price is filling in this big wick, right? Coming down, doesn't quite fill the whole thing out. Leaves that uh, leaves that prote that protected low. Is it protected? I don't know. We are in the higher time frame zone of demand. All right, this is a lower time frame zone. All right, is this going to overpower th that supply? All right, what I need to see before I take a buy, I need to see supply fail. I need to see supply fail. I do not want to take a, a buy into supply and then have it just smack it back down. I need to see that fail and then come back, come back in for the confirmation entry. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? All right, let's go down to the one hour so we can see this price action because what I want to be able to tell is when is it safe to take a buy? All right, see how price comes down here? What am I looking for? You know what I'm looking for if you watch my videos. Come on, man. Why does it do that to me? Viruses. All right. We're looking for the low, a lower low, a break of that swing high, and then a return to impulse, and then take it on up. Take it on to the house, all right, wherever it's going to go. I'm looking for that down here, all right? I look for that every time, no matter where it's at, bearish, bullish, no matter where the time frame, because price is fractal. We know that. Price is fractal. It shows up the same way, the same setup on every time frame. Okay. So what I'm noticing is price make this low, swing high, lower low, swing high, lower low. Ha ha. This is the lowest point. So I automatically go back and put a line on that swing high that's responsible for that low. I'm looking for the break of that. Once it broke, that becomes what? A change of character. We're seeing the momentum shift from bearish to bullish momentum, okay? Now, what do I need to see? This is an important part here, a point, a po important point here. Yeah, we have a, a change of character going on here, right? The early indication that price is shifting uh, from bearish to bullish, which one am I looking for, right? We got that going on here. That's nice, all right? But we need the confirmation, all right? To take just a, a, a trade based on this break is, it's uh, or by, by itself is aggressive, all right? This would constitute for me a break of structure. This even, even better. All right, when price breaks that with a close above and then returns, I'm looking to get in for a long position. All right, when it just, if it's a, if it's, uh, if it's giving me this setup, you know, a change of character setup on uh, when, it, it, if it was a bearish setup, because the overall trend is bearish, the overall, a uh, higher time frame trend is bearish, then I take this. But in a counter trend situation, I need another confirmation. So simple as that. That's that's just for safety because price could come on down here. I'm I'm waiting. I I would normally be waiting right here, right about here, and I would uh, take this whole thing. I would take the whole thing. All right. Now, you could draw it out here. 
if you want to. All right, some people, but most of the time, if I'm going the other direction, if I'm going with the trend, if it's a pro trend trade, I would take my entry here. It would look something like this. Look something like, like that right now. And I would take it on up, all right? But because it's counter trend, I'm gonna take the whole low because I've seen price uh, take the, uh, come through that unmitigated portion with the uh, nice looking uh, imbalance and everything, come right through that to the origin right here. All right, so in order to safeguard against that, I would take my, what is this? 10, 10 pip uh, stop loss and it becomes, I don't like it at 15 pip, I would rather it be at 10. But some people will divide, take this uh, area in the half, take the midpoint of the, uh, the, the midpoint of the, uh, of the order block and take it here, All right? You know, I would, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait and take, take the set, take my setup manually. I'm not gonna leave a, a pending order. I'm gonna look to see what the price action is when price reaches here. And I believe it will pre reach here because I need to see if we're getting in a reaction and a break and then then up. I'm looking for that on the lower time frame, specifically the 15 and the one. I'm not taking any entries off the off the one hour. You know, I go to 15, five, and then the one for my entry. What am I doing here? Okay, thank you. All right, so uh, uh, let's go down to 15. Matter of fact, I'll take you there. I'll take you there. All right, see all this chop, 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 all right? You wanna get involved in that? Go right ahead. Me, I'm gonna wait until it comes down here. All right, fills that, this area here, fills that impulse, finish all this corrective action. If it's gonna to touch down, I'm looking, sorry. I'm looking right here. I'm looking right here, right? I'm looking at this unmitigated zone, right? I'm looking at the liquidity below it and I'm looking at this, the origin. I've seen price come through that before. So I wanna see the reaction here. You know, if it reacts, if it does this, I'm gonna let you know, this is the way I look at it, all right? If it does this, ping, you know, a touch and go, I'm waiting for this to come back, that's all. That's it. If it just keeps going, I missed it. That's it. You know what I mean? But I'm waiting for it to come back if it just goes ping, all right, with the sound effect and everything. However, if I see it gives me a little chalk action, all right, a little change of character, respecting the low down here and maybe coming down to this midpoint and doing its dance, giving me that bullish price action, ha ha. I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to be in it. I'm going to be in it like that, but I will put my stop loss down here, all right? And I'm going to target, I'm going to target the, the, liquidate, the liquidity, liquidity of these highs. I'm going to come up here to this unmitigated zone of uh, supply, and I'm going to watch the price action from here, but I'm looking to go beyond this, of course. I'm a, my 15 minute, uh, Setup will have a 15 minute goal, and that would be up here. That I can tell you, but this would be the first place I look at, and that'll give me about four and a half. You know, I'm looking for at least five. Yeah, there you go. I'm looking for at least five or one to five here. All right. And if I can get 10 out of this, now you're talking. So, that's my idea. I need your feedback on this, all right? I need your feedback. I'm talking to you, oh, cautious trader you. Let me know, do you think it's safe? <laughs> Is it safe? <laughs> Is it too aggressive? You know, what am I waiting for? You think it's just gonna go through the bottom, all right? Or do you think this thing turns around here, I hit the uh, right levels, I hit the right uh, uh, or, uh, uh, zones of supply and demand. And you, you said your levels were right in exact. I think it's gonna shoot shoot right on up and give you that one to 10. Whatever it is, man, just let me hear a comment 
And do give me a like if you like the analysis, all right? Do smash that like button and do not forget to subscribe because I got updates. I got updates. I got updates and you don't want to miss your updates, all right? I will see you in the next video and thank you for spending a couple of minutes with your old friend, RT Money.